If your self-defense system is only about fighting, you're missing out on a lot of knowledge and skills that can help keep you safe. I'll explain why in this episode of Tactical Tidbits. Hi friends, I'm Herman Morris with Alpha One Tactical. Please remember to like, comment, and share so that you can help me help as many people as possible. All right, well on a previous episode, I went over the four categories of personal defense. Check it out if you haven't already. Now, as I discussed in that episode, most self-defense systems in schools focus on the defense part of self-defense. In other words, fighting. Today, I'd like to give you a little insight into what we teach in, at Alpha One Tactical. Now, as an affiliate of Blower Tactical Systems, we teach SPEAR, Personal Defense Readiness, which is a lot more than just learning how to fight. One of the most important concepts and the cornerstone of the system is the three D's of personal defense. The first D stands for detect. We want to be able to detect trouble so that we can avoid it if at all possible. You've heard me talk about awareness plenty of times, both self-awareness and situational awareness. This is where it comes into play. As the creator of the system, Tony Blower says, no awareness, no chance. Meaning, if you're ambushed or completely blindsided, it doesn't matter if you're a professional mixed martial arts fighter, Bruce Lee, or a Navy SEAL. Your fighting skills won't save you. Knowing how to st spot trouble or potential trouble can go a much longer way than just knowing how to fight. Okay, so the second D stands for diffuse. If we can't avoid trouble, even when we detect it, it's imperative that we have the skills to de-escalate the situation. This is a mix of both verbal communication and body language skills that can help bring a heated situation under control and find a way out without it escalating into a physical confrontation. The third D is defend. We understand that there are some situations in which even if we do our best to detect and diffuse, we might still find ourselves the targets of violence. In those situations, we need to know how to effectively protect ourselves and those in our care. Since most systems focus almost exclusively on D3, the fighting aspect needs to be very flashy or slick looking in order to get people's attention and interest. But what that usually means is that those moves and techniques are very complicated and thus require a lot of training to master. You can put almost every martial art or combat sport into that category and even most reality-based self-defense systems. By not focusing only on D3, we're able to spend time studying the psychology, physiology, and physics of violence. And when we understand how our minds and our bodies react under duress, we can more easily begin to learn how to manage them in challenging situations. Moreover, if we understand all those things about the bad guys as well, so much the better. And then, when we do get to the fighting aspects of the system, we focus on simple, gross motor skills that are natural and intuitive that don't require constant training to master and maintain. Does your system do that? Well, obviously, I can't tell you everything about these concepts in a short five minute video, but if you wanna learn more, come join me in a personal defense readiness seminar where you'll learn about all this and a lot more in much more detail. Check out our class schedule at alpha1tactical.com and I hope to see you there.